a first for fashion front row seats virtually on the runway before you shop in the stores. The iPhone moves into the world of medical research and it could be a game changer and it's time to scoot around the bay in an electric two seat rental. This is BizWire TV where your news is made. I'm Erin Aid. Top of the wire this week, a virtual reality check. VR has hit the runway and the way you shop may never ever be the same again. Mega brand Tommy Hilfiger became the first retailer to bring 3D to its stores. Shoppers can actually put on a Samsung Gear VR headset and get an immersive front row seat at Hilfiger's fall fashion show. Really incredible stuff. Now this groundbreaking experience was created in collaboration with We Make VR and the startup has developed a special camera to create a 360 degree 3D virtual reality experience. You can check it out at the Tommy Hilfiger Fifth Avenue store in New York. Now the story strutted down the social world catwalk and according to our new V social media monitor, tweets by Tommy Hilfiger, Business of Fashion and the New York Times fashion section, just those three alone, that reached over 3.5 million people in the first 24 hours. Now on another VR front, a million Google Cardboard viewers will soon be on their way to home delivery subscribers of the New York Times. The newspaper is collaborating with Google to launch NYT VR. It's a new project starting with the release of a virtual reality film called The Displaced about children uprooted by war. The viewers will be in the November 7th weekend edition of the paper. The iPhone is becoming a powerful tool for medical research. Apple's Research Kit is a framework used to create apps for clinical studies. Doctors, researchers, and scientists can gather an incredible amount of information directly from participants via their iPhones. Now, just announced this week, a new research kit for studies on autism, epilepsy, and melanoma. News trended particularly big for Johns Hopkins epilepsy study. It's the first research kit app to use Apple Watch, testing whether its sensors can detect the onset and the duration of seizures. And on the quick biz list, Hello Giggles is smiling big time. That's because Time Incorporated has acquired the mobile and social lifestyle brand for millennial women. Hello Giggles was co-founded by actress Zoe Deschanel in 2011, and it certainly showed its social strength. The story reached over 13 million people in the first two days alone. The founders of Vive Spirits are toasting being named one of Goldman Sachs' 100 most intriguing entrepreneurs of 2015. The Ream brothers started Vive in 2007. It's a handcrafted spirit similar to vodka, but formulated with acai berry. Other entrepreneurs celebrated Leah Buskey, the founder of TaskRabbit, and Lily Cantor and Serena Dugan behind the lifestyle brand Serena and Lily. More top trending stories according to the Nuvi social media monitor, a new ad campaign touting the talents of today's newest PCs launched to new heights this week. PC does what? Microsoft, HP, Lenovo, Dell, and Intel are collaborating for the first time ever for a six week campaign called PC Does What? showcases the latest innovations in PCs, Intel processors, and Microsoft Windows operating systems. After hitting the wire, the story has reached over 19 million people. And take a look at this itty bitty chip. It's Intel's tiny Curie module, and it's powering Arduino's latest affordable development board. The Arduino 101 is designed for the next generation of innovators. It's expected to cost just about $30. News that it will be released in the first quarter of 2016 spread fast, reaching more than 26 million people in the first few days of the announcement. And finally, a new little Scoot is buzzing around the streets of San Francisco. Scoot is a ride-sharing network of hundreds of electric scooters. They're scattered all about the Bay Area and they look like a ton of fun. Just use its app to find one and rent one. Now, meet the Scoot Quad. It's a nifty little electric car that seats two people. Scoot Networks partnered with Nissan to launch the quad. It's got a range of 40 miles and tops out at speeds of 25 miles per hour. Be sure to catch BizWire TV every Friday and BizWire TV Accelerator on Sundays to rev you up for your week ahead. And check out more top news anytime at businesswire.com.